Look closely at this American flag with the fringe representing no nation and no constitution. Breaking news, U.S. currency, the U.S. Republic restored. Anonymous Intel, August 4th, 2016. Message submitted at 5.49 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on August 4th. USA Inc. has publicly surrendered at the Pentagon today. Look at the flag borders. The Republic of the United States has been restored. Thank you, White Hats. Now we can RV. This is the public cabal surrender we've all been waiting for. Here's your new gold-backed rainbow USN currency. It looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? Genie is how they tried to sneak that subtle transition by Americans and global community at large. Almost worked, too. Expect these color differences to intensify over time. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Anonymous. And here's your new gold back rainbow USN currency. On a coast to coast AM with guests Stephen Miller and Dan Johnson open lines, they discussed controversial NDAA with law experts Stephen Miller and Dan Johnson, founder of Panda People Against the National Defense Act. They discussed the gold fringed flag. The flags displayed in state courts and courts of the United States have gold or yellow fringes. That is your warning that you are entering into a foreign enclave, the same as if you're stepping into a foreign embassy and you will be under the jurisdiction of that flag. The flag with gold or yellow fringe has no constitution, no laws and no rule of court and is not recognized by any nation on the earth and is foreign to you and the United States of America. Military flag with gold fringe, martial law flag pursuant to 4 U.S.C. Chapter 1, etc. I'll leave the link below. You can read the details on that. President Dwight David Eisenhower, by Executive Order Number 10834, signed on August 21st, 1959, and printed on the Federal Register, pursuant to law, stated that, quote, a military flag is a flag that resembles the regular flag of the United States, except that it has a yellow fringe border on three sides. End quote. The law of the flag. The law of the flag, an international law which is recognized by every nation of the planet, is defined as, quote, a rule to the effect that a vessel is a part of the territory of the nation whose flag she flies. The term is used to designate the rights under which the ship owner who sends his vessel into a foreign port gives notice by his flag to all who enter into contract with the shipmaster that he intends the law of that flag to regulate those contracts, that they must either submit to its operation or not contract with him at all or his agent at all. By the doctrine of four-cornering, the flag establishes the law of the country that it represents. For example, the embassies of foreign countries in Washington, D.C. are four-cornered by walls or fencing, creating an enclave. Within the boundary of the enclave of the foreign embassy, the flag of that foreign country establishes a jurisdiction and law of that foreign country, which will be enforced, enforced by the law of the flag and international treaty. So if you enter an embassy, you will be subject to the laws of that country, just as if you board a ship flying a foreign flag, you will be subject to the laws of that flag enforced by the master of the ship, the captain, by the law of the flag. When you enter a courtroom displaying a gold or yellow fringe flag, you have just entered into a foreign country and you better have your passport with you because you may not be coming back to the land of the free for a long time. The judge sitting under a gold or yellow fringe flag becomes the captain or master of that ship or enclave and he has absolute power to make the rules as he goes. The gold or yellow fringe flag is your warning that you are leaving your constitutionality secured rights on the floor outside the door to that, contra uh, to that courtroom. This is exactly why so many judges are appointed and not elected by the people. The federal judges are appointed by the president, the national military commander-in-chief. The state judges are appointed by the governors and the state military commanders. 
the judges are appointed because the courts are military courts and civilians do not elect military officers. Under martial law, you are presumed guilty until proven innocent. The gold French flag only stands inside military courts that sit in summary court martial proceedings against civilians and such courts are governed in part by local rules, but more especially by, quote, the manual of courts martial, end quote, U.S. 1994. It has a detail of that article. The details of the crimes that civilians can commit that are classed as acts of war cover 125 pages in the Manual of Courts Martial. Under Article 4, Section 3 of the Constitution of the United States of America, no new state shall be formed or erected within the jurisdiction of other states. So, why have the judges of the state and federal courts been allowed to erect foreign enclaves within our public courthouses under a foreign flag with a yellow fringe upon the soil of our state? We just thought you would like to know, so that the next time you see this yellow fringe flag, you will know that you're looking at what you're looking at and what it really means. So, if you're in Spain and you see the national flag of Spain, you would know that you're under the jurisdiction of Spain and their laws govern you at this time. You are officially noticed when you see their flag. This is an admiralty law that says that all who see this flag understand they are governed by the laws of the country that this flag represents. You should understand that the gold or the yellow fringed flag signifies the same thing. It's a notice to you that you're under the rules and regulations of a military force that is flying that flag. Are you familiar, t familiar with martial law? Does your attorney understand what this flag means? Quote, it is an elementary rule of pleading that a plea to the jurisdiction is a tacit or a silent admission that the court has a right to judge the case and is a waiver to all exception to the jurisdiction, end quote. Patriots are subjected to much ridicule when they object to admiralty flag, the flag that appears in every government office and courtroom in the land. That flag is the United States flag with one seemingly minor cosmetic difference, the knotted gold fringe on three sides. Government officials and judges adamantly refuse requests to remove the gold fringe flag and replace it with the constitutional flag of the United States as defined in 4 U.S.C. section 1, 2, and 3, which has no fringe. Why should anyone be concerned about this apparently innocent decorative feature? What difference does it make? Well, you can see here for your, yourself. I'll leave this article for you so that you can uh, see the webarchive.com org and you can see fringe on the US flag what does it mean it is commonplace to see the gold fringe flag of the United States standing in the present-day courtrooms as we said and now Rocky Mountain News Wednesday May 22nd 1996 illegal notices section notice of arrest United States District Court District of Colorado docket number 96 B United States of America versus a 1995 Chevy Astro van, blah, blah, blah. Any persons having or claiming an interest in or to said property must file their claim in accepted with uh, supplementary rules of the Admiralty and Maritime Claims within 10 days after the first publication of this notice. Admiralty and Maritime Claims? District of Colorado, District Court of Colorado, Admiralty claims. What does Admiralty shipping have to do with Colorado, which has no sea, no coast? I'll leave links below for you for this is really interesting. I never knew this. Speaking softly and carrying a big stick, Theodore Roosevelt, 26th President of the United States of America, 1901 to 1909. Don't tread on me. Each U.S. citizen has the sovereign right, rights of individual nation guaranteed to them by the United States Constitution. This fact alone makes the United States of America the only multitude of nations in existence. Guaranteed. Genesis 48.19 Now, does a fringe flag mean your rights are suspended? This is by Charles Krieger Jr., 1998. He says, those who back this idea cite Army Regulation S840-10, 
which allow a gold fringe flag for specific indoor displays and military ceremonies and parades. The use of such a flag in a military courtroom is one of the uses allowed in this regulation. The problem with this is that there is no civilian statute that would allow a person to be subjected to military law just by a, cha a change of flag. The flaw in their reasoning is that because it's allowed in military courts, that it always signifies a military court. It's interesting that they cannot cite a single case where this notion has been supported by in court. If the gold flag meant a change in jurisdiction, someone would have appalled or appealed a case on that. The flag of the United States of America, gold fringe flag displayed in state courts, courtrooms in the United States have gold or yellow fringes. This is your warning that you are entering into a foreign enclave, the same as if you're stepping onto a foreign embassy and you will be under the jurisdiction of that flag. The flag with the yellow gold fringe has no constitution, no laws, and no rules of court, and is not recognized by any nation on the earth, and is foreign to you and the United States of America. The United States military flag with the gold fringe. Links below for you for this.